Hello! Hi, and welcome to the latest edition of Polly's Peep Show. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well because I'm playing this free game that you can follow the link to down in the description right now. And you can get yourself a whole mouthful of Alzora Ancient Abyss for free right there on itch.io. And we're gonna be having ourselves a quick look at it. what is Alzora Ancient Abyss. It is the debut micro RPG from longtime community member, longtime wifey iffy or Celestial Blade. However, you've come to know her over the years, but this is her first major release. And boy, oh boy, let me tell you, I've already finished this one. So this is not 100% blind or anything, but I'll tell you, this is a good one, but we're gonna have a quick peek at a little bit of it to get you started, uh, to give you a, a little bit of an idea of what this game is. I don't wanna give too much of it away because this is a game that will only take you about 30 to 60 minutes to finish, but it's nice, it's punchy, it's fun, it's got a lot of character. So let's just go ahead and get a look at what's going on here. My name is Lena Alzora. I'm an adventurer. This is typically how good adventures start. In my journeys, I've explored many sky islands and found a number of ancient ruins from the old world. The Naskian people, I'm gonna just assume that I'm pronouncing that correctly. Those who supposedly inhabited this world before the surface was lost to ruin. I made it my purpose to discover every secret of theirs I could find. This ruin was no different, but what I discovered would change everything. That strange girl in white appeared before me one day, calling me the chosen one. She claimed that I would find what I seek at the end of the remote forest beyond a passage of crystal. What in the world did she mean? Who was she? And what does she think that I'm seeking? And how long is this road that I'm walking? It just feels like it could go on forever and ever. And does it ever stop raining? That would be, that would have been a very funny thing to do. A funny Easter egg for people that actually sat there. Is it like the rain would actually stop or the time of day would change after like, if you let it set for like two or three minutes, but those are just, again, dumb little things you only think of and, and implement if you got the time. And, and they're by no means essential to the game making process. <laughs> That's just dumb crap I would do. Um, but I leave those sorts of questions for the thinkers. I'm not much of a thinker. See, all right. See, I'm a big Lena fan already. I'm not much of a thinker myself. Like, you know what? Just let me hit things. I'm a girl of adventure, and adventure is exactly what she led me to. I had no idea what I'd find, but I followed her directions to the letter until I came across a cave in a place far from civilization. This is my story. This is my story. Of the Ancient Abyss! All right, so we are in cave. All right, camp's all set up. Let's get this show on the road. We got our nice, cool little home camp here that we can return to anytime we want. You can sleep in your bed at any point to get to get a free HPMP refill. Uh, yeah, a nice little. Just like there's a, this is a game that has a lot of cute map design. I, I I I call it cute, and I'm not saying that in any disparaging way. I just think like the maps feel good to traverse, and they're cute, and they look really nice. Uh, can't leave, <laughs> but thou must. Now, all right, for all of you Alzora Ancient Abyss players out there, I'm gonna give you a hot tip. Hot tip right off the start. This one's gonna get you all the ladies. Oh, these, remember, check these boxes. You can grab yourself three potions and a magic water for free. For free. 
Um, but if we go into our menu, we can kind of get a look at our character. We are already quite the adventurer. She's level 32. She got bajillion hit points, bajillion MP. We, she is out of toilet paper. Um, that's going to be unfortunate. I didn't know that it. Was, I didn't know that this was a survival game, uh, and that we would have a toilet paper game. So. Uh, but we got our items, and let's see here. Potions heal by 1,500. Okay, that just restores all of our MP. Um, we got skills. We've got Ninjutsu Raiton, which inflicts Thunder-type damage on all enemies. We've got Ninjutsu Huton, which creates a wind barrier that reduces uh, damage taken. And we've got Phantom Kamai Tachi. This is a secret skill of the ninja clan, usable only by masters, and this ignores evasion. That's nice. So, we got some equipment here, we got some kadachis, we got ninja garb. But now, a lot of this stuff isn't stuff you'll have to worry too much about. We're not going to be worrying too much about mm -hmm. item management beyond uh, heals and the like. The crystal does not, it doesn't work. All right. We are in a seaside cavern. Grab ourselves more potion. Let's go. Look at this. We already got a dude. How's it going, a dude? Crap! Monsters! It's always monsters! This one looks easy enough, at least. Alright, so we've got ourselves a cute, simple little battle system here. Um, we, could, we could use our skills if we want, or we can just, like, attack. Just dual wield, so I like that, like, when you attack, you get two little... You get, you get the effect of two, like, da daggers or swords being sliced there. Lena was victorious. This is also not a game where you level up or anything. You just kind of have what you have. Uh, this is a game that is ultimately about resource management, kind of managing your heals. Ah, oh, man. Nothing like some good old goblin slaying to get the blood pumping. I guess this adventure isn't going to be a walk in the park. Better press on. Like the nails. But uh, it's a game that's more about managing your uh managing your heels uh doing a lot of exploring so you're not gonna have to worry about like leveling uh oh look at this it's a spirit can, can you hear me yeah what are you are you like a soul or something i guess so part of me's been stuck here ever since i was struck down uh anyway if you don't want to end up like me some quick advice I hope you have some magical ability because there's monsters here that barely react to blades. My sword was almost useless in this big stone golem. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Spook. I passed on what might save her life. I feel lighter. Whoa. Guess it passed on. That's cute. It's uh, a little addition from the beta. Well, the beta version that I played didn't actually have any story in it beyond the introduction. So. Magic water! By the water. Uh, but yeah, this is a game that's kind of... A, it's a 30 to 60 minute micro RPG where you're going to do some really cool fights. They're going to be nice and chunky since they're kind of just meted out over the course of the maps. They're just explore these cute little dungeons and and then it's just this neat cute little self-contained story and I, I think that we need more of this kind of energy in game development like people kind of taking their cool ocs and like making little cute games out of them like, i think this stuff's awesome like we need more of this this kind of energy in the world oh what's this what do we got well, hey there, Mr. Stone Golem. Oh, dang, that's right. You did say that we needed magic abilities, so we need to go ahead and cast that. That'll take care of that. Pop another one. Yeah, look at us go. All right. Man, monsters got hands in here. Monsters got hands in here. I guess I can always go back to camp for a quick rest, but I want to keep moving. And that's a, another cool thing about this game is that uh, you can at any time go back to your camp uh, to get your, uh, you know, instead of like stopping here, it's like, oh man, you know, I've, I lost some HP. I didn't lose 1500, so it wouldn't be worth using, but oh man, I just pop a, 
You know, I could just pop my potion there, or pop a magic water to get all my stuff back. Or I could just like, you know, it's not, you take the walk of shame on back. I think that adds a unique texture though. It kind of is like, well, what are your options? Do you want to kind of just like plug forward or do you want to kind of take an easier way? Uh, you know, take the easier, you know, the easier path, but it's going to take a little bit of extra time because you're going to be moseying back to camp. So it's a, it's a cool little, you know, you're, you're kind of like, you know, you're, you're managing your resources or like the time you want to spend. Whoa, the wind's strong here. Damn, it's a long way down this chasm. Guess I still got a ways to go. But yeah, that's kind of what this game is. I'm not going to give away too much more because again, this game is literally only 30 to 60 minutes, depending on, you know, how much you explore or um, you, you know, how long it takes the each fight uh, to complete because the fights themselves are pretty meaty once you start getting further into the game. So, you know, you're going to kind of, you might need one or two cracks at them. because they, they, they Again, they got hands. Um, and, and the maps get pretty big um, and, and satisfying and, and, and fun to explore. So I think we'll go ahead and call it there because I don't want to give too much of this away. Um, but if he is giving it away for free, for absolutely free. So you should hop on over to itch.io and give Alzora Ancient Abyss a little bit of your time and, and, and leave a review. Let her know you had a lot of fun with it. So yeah, with that finished, we will find a less awkward way to close out this video. So thanks as always for stopping by. I hope you have a nice rest of your whatever, wherever you are, and we will catch you next time. Go play Alzora Ancient Abyss. You'll have yourself a good time. 